Uh, who are you? Oh, hey, I'm a magician. Well, I'm just out here practicing my magic. You want to see a magic trick? Sure, why not? Awesome, okay, we'll start with the cards. I'm not very good with the cards, but I'm really good at making things disappear. You got anything on you you want to see disappear? Uh, well, I got a gun. Never done that one. Okay, yeah, this is a really nice gun here. Okay, are you ready for the magic trick? I'm gonna make it disappear. So, we say the magic words, abracadabra, alakazam, and poof, it's just gone like that. Whoa! Yeah, you like that? Okay, now for the second part of my trick, I'm gonna pull your gun out of my hat. Oh, that's a Rice Krispie treat. Uh, hold on one sec. Some flowers. <laughs> oh, let me try again. Hold on one second. Uh, an eggplant? Are you serious? Give me the hat. Here, you try. What the? W deep. What? What? The? Ew! Just where is my gun? What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today we're gonna have some fun with one of my favorite lever guns. Let's go check this thing out and get started. So today we have the Bighorn Armory Spike Driver, which is a lever gun chambered in the almighty 500 Magnum. This thing has an 18 inch barrel, holds seven plus one, and is an absolute behemoth. I am super pumped to blast some stuff with this thing, but first, let me tell you about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Aura. If you had to guess what the number one growing crime in America is, what would your answer be? Well, the correct answer is identity theft, and there's a new victim every 14 seconds. Unfortunately, some of the smaller companies in the firearms industry don't have the best data practices. And I know several people personally who've experienced identity theft and fraud. Trust me, it's not something you want to happen to you. And that's why I'm super excited about partnering with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. And you might already have one of these services, but if you don't have all the tools, it's like locking your front door and leaving your back door completely open. Imagine one day you go to log into your email only to find that your password had been changed hours ago. Then you start getting notifications of activity from your bank accounts, credit card, crypto, and other accounts. It would be a very nauseating and scary situation and unfortunately is a reality for far too many people. Thankfully, Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, social security numbers, and sends fast alerts right to your phone and email. I figured my stuff would be pretty secure, but to my surprise, when I signed up with Aura, I found out that my email had been leaked a couple of times. I logged in, got the alert, and got to see where my email had been spread on the dark web. So start protecting yourself and your family from identity theft by going to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky or by clicking the link in the description down below. And if you sign up right now using my link, Aura is going to give you a two week free trial so you can see where your personal information has been spread on the dark web. Again, a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. So I've got some steel targets set up and we're gonna start out with some Underwood ammo, 350 grain jacketed hollow points. I do have some heavier rounds for us to use today, but this is what we're gonna start out with. I have several steel targets set up and something else made of metal at the very end. Let's get started. Okay, I'm all loaded back up. Let's do a mag dump.
Okay, next, we're gonna blast these two liters. target for today is going to be a my monkey one of you tagged me in a post on instagram and that's how i found out about these by the way if you're not following me on instagram go give me a follow and if you're not subscribed to kentucky ballistics hit that subscribe button do it these things right here are kind of like stretch armstrongs except they feel like there's sand in there and when you smush them they just go flat so as you can see this thing is pretty flat <laughs> but you can just like shape it back to its original form. I'm really curious to see what happens when we shoot one of these things, so let's find out. Okay, blue guy is first. Oh! Okay, uh, I expected a different color. Oh, come on. You just got jammed. I think I just nicked the red guy. Oh, yeah, he just got hit in the butt. Can you tell that he was a little scared? <laughs> Doesn't look like they're very good at stopping a 500 Magnum. Just blew right through the back of these things. Up next, we're gonna shoot a six pound can of tomato paste and a six pound can of cheese. And I know some of you don't like it when I shoot this cheese, but I don't care because you know what kind of cheese this is. Nacho cheese. Um, the table looks pretty disgusting. I had a can of tomato uh, paste and a can of nacho cheese lined up. I was going to try to, you know, make them both explode at the same time, but they kind of moved. So tomato paste got hit, and then the nacho cheese just kind of got nicked. So those targets were soft and explosive. Now let's try out a hard target. For these cinder blocks, we're going to step it up to some underwood ammo. 500 grain hard cast and I know a lot of you probably want me to shoot the 700 grain hard cast out of here But unfortunately you cannot load the 700 grain hard cast into the loading gate. All right, here we go oh. hard cast just straight up vaporized those center blocks. Up next, let's see if we can make it through this minivan with a 500 Magnum hard cast. All right. Yeah, Target. 
sorry about that. Now, let's see if this hard cast will make it through the van. Here we go. Woo, that's a nice hole. Let's go check it out. Okay, we have a nice big entrance hole. Let's see if we have an exit hole. Uh, yep, <laughs> looks like we do right there. So we went through the door, blasted through both seats, and then it went through the other door. Up next, we are going to shoot some eggplant, because nobody likes eggplant! bad right now. My lungs are burning from breathing in the eggplant puree and it smells like a wet ashtray. Look at that table. That looks like bird poop. So our last target for the day is going to be a 16 pound bowling ball that has not had the finger holes drilled in it yet. We shot several of these with elephant guns. I'm really curious to see what the 500 Magnum does to it. For the bowling ball I'm going to use the 500 grain hard cast. Well, that was not as explosive as the elephant guns, but it looks like it still did a pretty good job. So we hit it, was able to deliver enough force that it broke it in half, but it did not make it all the way through the bowling ball. But I'd still say that's some pretty good results. Right, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think about the 500 Magnum lever action? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Kentucky Customs, and Kentucky Ballistic Shorts. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time.